that's it. Here we are. Hey guys, Max from Woodsman Finest here. Thanks for tuning in to another um, course here on my Boon TV channel. regular method of starting about a third down here um, with our crank. My right foot is back, axing outside of my, my right side, if you will. The middle of my peak down here, and I mimic it on the other side. Use angles for your advantage. And I'm actually just coming down with the axe um, towards the chopping block. Split that piece out. As I'm always saying, um, you have very good gauges in your face, your eyes. And then I'm kind of doing the same thing on the other side where I'm not trying to come in as round and as quick. But now I can just ponder over that, just turning in my hand, look at it, um, and just redo a couple of parts here and there. But this is a very comfortable size like that. So it's always a little bit safer to just cut it off. Here we go, we always roll downhill. And it's gonna be the same over here. But then we've got another peak here and the valley is going to be the deepest part here of the cut. So we can kind of start blending and getting rid of a little bit of this pointy ridge line. And here a sharp axe is really important because I don't want to slip because my axe is um, not sharp enough and just fly into the shoulder of the spoon. Now I've got to this point here where um, it's important again for me to get rid of some of this bulk here. It's just way too much material. So let's make our life a little bit easier. And um, we've taken it right to the knife. Um, we have our excellent blank here. The long cuts are important for me because they make sure that we're not getting a whole bunch of um, little corners that we kind of need to round out afterwards. And I'm already trying to blend here with a push and a little bit of a rotation and I'm pushing with my off hand, so it's very safe. The knife doesn't go any further than my left hand is actually pushing it. The pieces where I know how I'm supposed to go, I can do blind, but then I like switching it around. And also on this side, work with this um, push method. And I'm just using really purposely the tightest radius on the knife, which is gonna give me the most aggressive cut and already given it somewhat of a pre-finish. So I'm using a middle part of the spoon knife and now I'm just establishing a nice flow that is a little bit wider and flat on the front and it's getting tighter up here. So another way I do it either this way or using my, my left hand again as a driver to the saddle for your fingers. I just like scooping out the middle as well Again from our highest point here, the peak, and I do the same thing pretty boldly. Keep checking with my finger if there is enough material on the inside. You're in and then out into the handle. Perspective. Just going through this radius, and changing the angle of the knife, but still going through the radius with it. Everything you do has to be then blended. Just keep going by the rule that you have the C of circumference, you have the C of the crank, and you also have the C of the cleaning, right? In other words, this is the really labor-intense and time-consuming stuff, but it really makes a world of difference. Again, I'm coming here at the sharp point where the keel is blending into the handle I'm coming in and just chamfering that off. Just chamfer all the way down, just ever so slightly. Just a super, super small chamfer. Just like that. Front to back, top to bottom. Again, with a sharp knife, just trying to go this couple of millimeters against the regular grain. Um, and then coming back from the other side actually and this sharpness that allows me to creep up on the grain in each direction a little bit further than 
what is actually possible, so to say. Super comfortable, nice length. A classic, nothing too much. It just speaks through shape and symmetry and purpose.